Area of composite shapes. Composite shapes is where two or more shapes have been composed together. For instance, in example 1a, we have two shapes that have been, I guess, composed or put together. And if I draw a red dotted line, you can see I have a rectangle and a triangle. Now, if we want to find the, the area of the following composite shape, we need to find the area of each of the rectangle and triangle at separate times and then add them together at the end. So what we'll do is we'll call the rectangle shape 1 and we'll find the area of shape 1. And shape 2 is the triangle, so we'll find the area of shape 2. Okay. Now, um, A1. The area of a rectangle is given by the formula LB or L times B, which basically means to multiply together the length and the breadth. So we've got a side of 20 and a side of 12. 20 times 12 is 240 centimeters squared. So there's the area of our rectangle. All right, now we're going to find the area of our triangle, area 2. And you can see the formula is half times base times height. And when we do this one, we're just going to go half times. Now, we actually need to sort of look at our triangle and figure that out. The height is actually the 10. This is the height of the triangle because that's the distance from the base to the tip of the triangle. Okay, but we need to find the length of the base. Now it hasn't been labeled, but we know this side is 12. This side must also be 12. All right, so we're going to go half times the base of 12 times the height of 10. And that'll come out to 60 centimeters squared. Now, once you've found the area of your two shapes, I like to use A with a capital T, meaning the total area. And then I just add them together. 240 plus 60 is 300 centimeters squared.